Right back to Sky 9, and sadly, we're seeing very active fire in this fire in Larimer County, about six miles north of Lyons, and Sky 9's been over the fire for most of the last hour. What they have seen that is good news are two small tankers that have started to fight this fire. And of course, one thing we've certainly uh, seen this year, uh, the faster you can get on top of these fires, the better chance you have of shutting them down. But in the conditions we've been seeing for the last week or so, uh, it's a very dangerous situation. What we've also seen has been very active flame and some of it very close to some of the houses that are there just south of the, the Carter Lake Reservoir. And speaking of those homes, there are some new evacuations put in place within just the last few minutes. The Larimer County Sheriff's Office issued new mandatory evacuations for people living on Dakota Ridge Road and Chimney Hollow Road. That's in addition to the evacuations already in place for people living on Vision Way near County Road 37 E. Now we're not exactly sure just how many people this is affecting. We know the homes in this area are spread out, but there certainly are some right now that are in danger. Uh, we want to share some more with you as far as the weather is concerned. So let's bring in meteorologist uh, Chris Bianchi. The weather warnings, the conditions, it's kind of dangerous out there. Yeah, and unfortunately, and I kind of hate to say this a little bit here, folks, is uh, we may have to get used to this. I mean, this has been, we're mired in a pretty bad drought right now. Now, there's a little bit of good news in terms of the short term forecast is the winds right now generally speaking gusting around 20 to 30 miles an hour in that area generally speaking but those winds will die back down tonight so right now again gusting about 20 to 30 miles an hour we should see those winds after about 7 30 8 o'clock tonight start to back on off considerably so that is the good news and those winds as we get into tomorrow morning should also be on the better side as well the other factor and the other kind of thing we watch for is the relative humidity. The lower this number is, the drier it is. Now, the relative humidity will increase tonight as well. That will add some moisture to the air. So generally speaking, I do think that we will be looking at overall better firefighting conditions, especially after around 7 to 8 tonight. So that is some good news. We'll have more on this fire and this breaking news situation coming up in just a few moments.